Today we have a new exciting application that developed by Chronomite using the platform that we've made for over 50 years. And it's designed to meet uh, Z381 uh, safe tepid water temperatures for emergency care, emergency face wash, and emergency shower. Believe it or not, this heater will take care of the Z581 for emergency showers, which the code is 20 gallons a minute of water at for 20 minutes. We're talking 400 gallons of water. And this heater will do that comfortably and easily, and it'll maintain tepid water. We set this, temp this heater at uh, 84 degrees. We choose that temperature, even, even though the code is 65 to 95, we, we set the, the heater at 84. 84, if I put a pr temperature probe on your eye, would measure 84, so it's a very comfortable temperature. Um, so today, we're, what we're going to demonstrate is how the heater operates. Uh, this particular heater can do both the emergency face wash and emergency eye wash or a combo unit, either or or both. So today, uh, sitting here, we're in Southern California. It's a warm day, and the water temperature shows to be 65 degrees. And what we're going to do is run this heater for 20 minutes, and we'll run an elapsed time so you can watch it run for 20 minutes. And you'll see it run around 84 degrees for the entire 20-minute period. By the way, it would run forever because it's an instantaneous water heater, which means while the heater is activated, it will in increase the temperature. You'll never use any power once you shut the heater off. So you go from using a tremendous amount of power to no power. And if it sits there for a month and never gets used, you'll never use any power. So um, let's walk over and activate the heater. This is our flow meter up here. And we're going to run it from for 20 minutes at 20 gallons per minute. So we turn it on. So you can see the heaters have all been activated. And here you have the emergency shower. That's 20 gallons per minute. As you can see, that's a substantial amount of water. The temperature gauge is picking up what the temperature now is. Uh, it's setting at 79, 80 degrees. It'll go up to 84. And we're running 20 gallons per minute. And now I'm going to set the timer. So... Here's the timer. Even though it's been on for a few minutes, we just activated the timer. And now you see the temperature is almost 82 degrees. The flow rate is 20 gallons per minute. That's what 20 gallons a minute looks like. And you can see how, how it fills the bottom. It's a lot of water. The flow rates tend to fluctuate slightly. As the flow rate temperature fluctuates, you'll see the average will, will fluctuate a two or three degrees, plus or minus, from 81, holding that temperature, that's the flow rate. This particular heater is, has a stainless steel cover. It's all made out of stainless. The size of it is about 27 inches wide, 21 inches tall, eight inches deep weighs about 80 pounds. Uh, it has a stainless steel cover on it. This is just for show and tell here. But you'll get the unit. It can be wall mounted. And of course it could be a standalone or it could be, or it could be put on a stand, a free stand of some sort. We will show you the label on the unit. It gives you the power requirements. And it's a great unit. The reason it works great, you get to do the right thing by having safe emergency water 
You only use power when the water's running. You'll never use the power when it's not running. You don't use any. It's a lot better than having a storage heater with mixing valves and all those kinds of things. Because when you can do that for 20 minutes, you're talking about 400 gallons of water that has to be on standby. That's like leaving your car running in the driveway 24-7. So this is the way to go. Uh, the electrical requirements are what they are. And we'll, we'll talk to you about that. This is the new application. It's priced very competitively. It's not difficult to install. And as you can see, it doesn't take up a lot of space. We just finished the 20 minute cycle. And you can see we held our temperature for 20 minutes. But for this heater, there's nothing sacred about the 20 minutes. If during that period of time, another emergency happened and you had to do a face wash emergency during the same time you had a combination unit or you had another situation we could do that we can pull this down now we have a face wash and you can see that we've increased the flow rate we've gone up in flow rate now we have a face wash Using the exact same heater, now we can do a face wash, an emergency face wash. It's very significant to understand there's nothing for this heater that's sacred about the 20 minutes. If you needed to run another 20 minutes or another half an hour, another day, frankly, the heater would keep up. It will continue to use power when the water's running. But now that I shut off all the water, all the power shut off. We are now using zero power. And as long as you don't turn it back on, you'll never use power again. This application is here to stay. It's emergency safe water. It meets 358.1, Z358.1. And this is the best way to do it. Do the right thing. Use the Coronamite Boxer for all your emergency shower applications.